So hi everyone and welcome back once again to the session of government schemes. In this session guys we are going to discuss about a very important scheme and a very ambitious scheme of the government of India that is Pradhan Mantri Saubhagya Yojana. So let's begin with the session guys and Saubhagya stands for Sahaj Bijli Hargar Yojana and this is the scheme Pradhan Mantri Saubhagya that we are going to discuss and you should remember the full form Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Hargar Yojana. Alright. So let's talk about the objective first. So first of all, let us try to simplify the objective. So we can easily determine the objective guys from the name of the scheme. If you know the full form, then you can easily determine the objective. So what is the name Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Har Ghar? So with, the, with these three words, Bijli and Har Ghar, you can easily identify the object. Bijli means what? Electricity. Alright, Bijli means what? Electricity. While Har Ghar ka matlab yaha pe kya hai? Every household. Every household. So, so this scheme, Government wants to provide electricity to each and every household in our country. The government wants to provide the last mile connectivity and electricity connection to all the unelectrified households in our country. Okay. So this is the basic objective. And for those areas which are uh, which are in the remote areas or you can say the inaccessible, there the government is providing solar, solar photovoltaic based. Solar photovoltaic based. Standalone plants. Okay, solar photovoltaic based standalone plants okay, that will be provided in the remote and the inaccessible areas. Okay, so I hope guys the objective is clear and this objective will be completed by providing financial assistance. This is basically the scheme the basic uh, implementing strategy. Hai, usme kya hai? The financial assistance will be provided to the distribution companies, which in turn will provide the free electricity to the eligible households. Okay. So financial assistance will be provided to the discounts or you can say the uh, distribution companies. So I hope the objective is clear. The basic objective is to provide electrification to the unelectrified households in our country to provide last mile connectivity and electricity connection in uh, to all the unelectrified households in our country and for those areas which are inaccessible and remote, the solar photovoltaic based standalone plants will be provided through this scheme which is known as Pradhan Mantri Saubhagya Yojana. Alright. And moving ahead to the ministry. So of course since we are talking about the power, the electricity. So the ministry is what the ministry of power which is currently headed by Mr. R.K. Singh. But you have to confirm the name of minister before your exam. And R.K. Singh's Lok Sabha constituency we all know is ARA which is of course in Bihar. And which agency is the implementing agency, the nodal agency for implementation, it's REC, which is Rural Electrification Corporation of India Limited. This is the implementing uh, nodal agency for the implementation of the scheme PM Sabhake. So I hope guys these things are clear and talking about the eligibility. So as I told you, the implementing strategy is that the financial assistance will be provided to the distributions company distribution companies uh, which are in the field of electricity electricity sector and they will provide free electricity to the eligible households. So all the discounts including private sector discounts, state power departments and rural electric cooperative societies are eligible to get that financial assistance. While if you talk about the rural households, unke liye bhi ek eligibility hai. we will talk about it later. But before moving uh, ahead to the eligibility of households, remember one thing that non-poor urban households are excluded of the scheme. Non-poor urban households are completely excluded from this scheme and the eligible beneficiaries will be taken from the SECC uh, uh, Social Economic Cast Census 2011 data. Okay, so just the eligible beneficiaries hai, that are taken from SECC 2011. Okay, and moving ahead to the eligibility of households. So the household guys are identified through the seven criteria. Or if any criteria be follow hota hai, then that household is eligible to get the benefit, to, is eligible to get the free electricity under PM Sabhagya. And what are these criteria? And of course, guys, these criteria are not worth remembering. These will not be asked in your exam. This is just for the basic understanding. So any household with only one room, kacha wall and kacha roof, no adult member between the age of 16 and 59, koi bhi adult member nahi hai, us family mein, jo ki 16 se 59 ke age ke beech mein hai. Female headed, headed households with no adult member between the age of 16 and 59, Households with disabled member and no able bodied adult member in the family. SC or ST households are of course who are eligible. Honge. Households with no literate adult above 25 years. Then landless households depriving, uh, deriving major income from the manual uh, labor. Okay. 
कोई भी ऐसा हाउस होल्ड जो कि केवल जो उनका जो मेजर इनकम सोर्स है वो मैनुअल लेबर से आ रहा है देन दैट हाउस होल्ड इज ऑल्सो एलिजिबल टू गेट द फ्री इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो दीज आर द सेवन क्राइटेरिया बेस्ड ऑन व्हिच द एलिजिबिलिटी इज डिसाइडेड ऑफ द हाउस होल्ड्स एंड आउट ऑफ दीस अगर कोई एक क्राइटेरिया भी फॉलो होता है देन दैट हाउस होल्ड इज एलिजिबल ओके एंड देयर आर सम ऑटोमेटिक इंक्लूजन क्राइटेरिया आल्सो अदर देन दिस अगर कोई क्वेश्चन अगर इफ देयर इज एनी हाउस होल्ड विदाउट शेल्टर कोई हाउस होल्ड है जिसके पास शेल्टर ही नहीं है देन Uh, that household is eligible any destitute living on arms manual scavengers families primitive tribal groups and legally released bonded laborers so all these are automatically included to get the benefits to get the free electricity under the scheme and there are exclusion criteria also which are 14 in number and of course you don't have to remember these 14 exclusion criteria aapko ye panch bhi yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai but agar ho jata hai then that is well and good Other than this, you also don't have to remember these seven criteria. These are not uh, important for exam. And similarly, there are fourteen exclusion criteria. But the government is saying that we are providing hundred percent electrification through the PM Swabhati Yojana. Then what about those who are not eligible for this eligibility criteria? What will happen with them? So for those households which are not eligible, rupees five hundred per Uh, household will be charged as a one time fee in 10 installments of rupees 50 each maan lo ki koi aisa household hai jo in criteria mein nahi aa raha but he is not uh, that able to pay the electricity bill or you can say he is not able to buy the electricity connection so uske liye 500 rupees fees li jayegi keval 500 rupees wo bhi 10 installments mein of rupees 50 each and that aur saath mein electricity bill okay so basically jo household is criteria mein nahi aayenge उनसे पांच सौ रुपए फीस ली जाएगी और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल तो देना ही है राइट एंड मूविंग अहेड टू द थिंग्स टू रिमेम्बर सो गाइस दीज आर द थिंग्स टू थ्री थिंग्स वी हैव इन दिस स्कीम दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर आई होप टिल नाउ एवरीथिंग इज हियर दीज आर द एलिजिबल एलिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया ऑल डिस्काउंट आर एलिजिबल टू गेट द फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस मिनिस्ट्रीज मिनिस्टर ऑफ पावर इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसी इज रूरल इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड ओके and now talk talking about the funding pattern so government of india in the special category states now what is the special category special category states guys are all the north eastern states all the north eastern states then we have uttarakhand all the north eastern states and hilly states okay these are the special category states and remember one thing also in the special category states we have union territories of andaman and nicobar and lakshadweep also Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep, and there is no separate funding pattern or funding criteria for the UTs. Special category states and other states. Or special category states, me two UTs ko rakha gaya hai, which are Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep. All right. And other states me jo baaki bach gaya hai, wo saara. All right. So government of India will provide 85 percent of the total funding cost of the of the total project cost in the special category states, while 5 percent will be Uh, provided by that discom or the state will bear this 5% and 10% will be taken as the loan from banks or financial institutions okay when talking about the other states so 60% will be provided by the central government 10% will be the state owned fund or the utility owned fund while rest 30% will be taken as the loan from any bank or the financial institution right so this is the funding pattern and this guys is very important because bahut ajeeb sa funding pattern hai that's very strange funding pattern as humne generally स्कीम्स में देखा नहीं है सो यू शुड रिमेम्बर दिस एंड लॉन्च इट इट वाज लॉन्च इन द ईयर 2017 सो लॉन्च इयर एज वी ऑलवेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज टू बी कंप्लीटेड बाय 31 मार्च 2019 एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू गवर्नमेंट इट हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू गवर्नमेंट वी आर नाउ 100% इलेक्ट्रीफाइड ओके एंड द टोटल कॉस्ट वाज रुपीस 16320 करोड़ इंक्लूडिंग द बजटरी एस्टीमेट्स ऑफ हाउ मच 12320 16320 करोड़ का टोटल फंडिंग इसमें आया था जिसमें से जो बजटरी सपोर्ट था दैट वाज हाउ मच 12320 करोड़ ओके सो गाइस दिस वाज अबाउट द स्कीम आई होप द स्कीम इज क्लियर लेट अस वंस मोर समराइज इट सो द प्रधानमंत्री सहायक बिजली हर घर योजना हैज अ ऑब्जेक्टिव टू प्रोवाइड 100% टू प्रोवाइड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी टू ऑल द रूरल हाउस होल्ड्स टू ऑल द अनइलेक्ट्रिफाइड हाउस होल्ड्स इन आवर कंट्री एंड टू आल्सो प्रोवाइड सोलर फोटोवोल्टेइक बेस्ड स्टैंड अलोन प्लांट्स इन द इन द रिमोट एंड द इनएक्सेसिबल एरियाज it is being implemented by the ministry of power with the help of rural electrification corporation limited it was launched in the year 2017 and all the discounts are eligible to get the financial assistance and the implementing strategy of this scheme is that the discounts will get financial assistance and they will provide free electricity to the eligible households okay so this was about this scheme and of course you should remember this funding pattern in the special category states 85% is provided by the central government 
5% is the state owned fund or the utility owned fund while 10% will be taken as the loan right talking about the other states 60% 10% and 30% respectively and remember the special category states are what northeastern states hilly states and from ut we have two uts andaman and nicobar and lakshadweep all right and the launch year it was launched in 2017 and of course you should remember the total project and at the end of the session at the end of the scheme let me tell you a secret about this 100% electrification ek raas ke baad batata hu aapko jo 100% electrification criteria hai the ministry of power wo kya hai so according to ministry of power a village is 100% electrified a village is 100% electrified if it has at least 10% households which are electrified and all the public uh, all the public places which are electrified and public places ka matlab yahan pe kya hai education centers education centers health centers aur agar wahan pe anganwadi center hai to to jitne bhi public centers hai wo electrified hai aur us gaon ke 10% households ke paas agar bijli hai to government is saying that that village is 100% electrified so you can uh, imagine ki hamara 100% electrification kitna percent electrification hai okay and now guys let's move on to the questions that can be asked what is the total project uh, cost of pm sabhagya yojana so it's rupees 16320 crore with a uh, gross budgetary support of 12320 crores okay question number 2 is how many exclusion and automatic inclusion criteria for eligibility respectively are there in the pm sabhagya yojana so we have discussed it exclusion criteria we have number uh, we have 14 in number while automatic inclusion criteria we have five so therefore option d 14 and 5 will be the correct answer and what is question number 3 if the total expenditure to be incurred in sikkim for the implementation of pm sabhagya yojana is rupees 1000 so sikkim as i told you is a special category state because it is a north eastern state and how much land will be provided by the central government so if, if you remember for the special category states the central government grant is how much 85% so what is the 85% of 1000 it's 850 which means option e rupees 850 will be the correct answer okay and guys that's it for the session i hope the scheme is clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care god bless